Welcome to this episode of Cup of Theology. We did have a bit of a technical difficulty. However, there was a great conversation with Dr. Joseph Sikora about his book, The Unfavored. And it really deals with those who were not quite the favored in the Bible and what that means for us today. Um, that led to an interesting conversation about blueberry coffee, which is the unfavored flavor. Uh, and uh, tasting blueberry coffee was quite interesting as well. So unfortunately, that was the portion of the conversation that we missed. But please join us for the remainder of this cup of theology. And now you'll understand the blueberry coffee a little bit better. Right, so we are at the Cup of Theology, the first one of 2019. And uh, we have the amazing Dr. Joseph Sikora joining us. Good morning, Joseph. How are you? It's noted that we are drinking iced coffee on one of the coldest yes. Cup of Theologies yes. ever. So what do we think about blueberry? Is it a, what's the verdict on um. It is, um, <laughs> it is interesting. Yeah. It is, yeah, I agree. It's not, it's not bad. I agree. Not a, so you are also the director of the Doctor of Ministry program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so can you tell us a little about that? About the Demon yes. Doctor of Ministry yes, program? Yes, yes. Uh, so Doctor of Ministry program is a three-year program, postgraduate degree that would help uh, students to form advanced skills and give them advanced knowledge beyond their master's degree. It's a, a class uh, or the whole program is a, taught in a hybrid style that is uh, students spend most of the time in online environment, uh, being in touch with the professor through Zoom, uh, through um, our website, uh, doing different assignments, but then coming here twice uh, a year for extended residency. We are not uh, offering just one, one expertise, let's say Doctor of Ministry in Spiritual Formation, but we're not completely wide open. Our focus is leadership, scripture, and spirituality. Wonderful. Okay. And my understanding is that a student would come in and then in calling a vocation, would they begin to structure what they're... Yes, so we have, if the student becomes, uh, is accepted, then we have a so-called gate into the program that's called calling and vocation okay. where people come and uh, that cohort leaves uh, and goes into a retreat setting where they spend several days trying to think deeply about who they are where they are in their life journey in their ministry uh, what kind of uh, vision they have or God has for them for the future what kind of a type of ministry they do and what changes that there may be done and how the program will fit them Okay. So that's sort of a gateway into the program that helps to set the student in both into the program, but see how it can be something that can enhance the ministry that the student does. Wonderful. And we have uh, residency going on right now. Yes, right? we right. have students here. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. And I, I'm guessing in June, it sounds like. There may yes, be they come in January and, and in June. Okay. They come uh, a week uh, per class. So it's up to two weeks per semester. They are here uh, for intensive learning, but it's not intense. It's intensive. It's okay. a more relaxed pace. It's actually a great opportunity for those who are involved in full-time ministry to go and take a week or two weeks for themselves and learn together with like-minded people. Wow. And enjoy also our campus. Swim in the morning if oh, they want sure. to and There's use a nice gym. gym. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's, quite, it's, very, it's valued. So it's a good, good program with good balance. Online, you do it from the place where you live. It can be in Canada, it can be on the West Coast, it can be in Jamaica, and then you come here twice a year. So my understanding is our viewers can also participate in June? Is that? Yes, okay. yes. Well, okay. uh, we have two classes offered uh, uh, in June. Okay. Uh, one of them is uh, called The Courage to be Human in an Age of Celebrity. Uh, and we have a guest speaker for that class, Mandy Smith. Uh, Mandy wow. Smith, uh, she's an Australian, but she lives now in Cincinnati, Ohio, where she's okay. a pastor of uh, University Christian Church. Wow. She's an author. She's written several books. Her recent book is called The Vulnerable Pastor. Wow. And she is looking at the issue of our own vulnerability, uh, our own limits, our mm -hmm. weaknesses, and how these things should not be something that we hide 
light. Wow. But something that we explore, we open up to God, also open up to others, and how this makes us better leaders and better human beings. That's awesome. Uh, I'm very excited. It's, it's a great to work with Mandy. That's um, wonderful. And, and folks yeah, who are not in the program can also attend. Uh, yes, that. those who okay. those who would come and uh, apply. Uh, by March yes. uh, and get into the program they can participate in this particular particular class and also in other classes it's good to know that uh, March 1st is the deadline for yep. April admission yep. which is also my birthday oh so shamelessly excellent. plug my birthday that's my great yeah. yeah so I can get blueberry coffee it's probably a, to celebrate it's a good connection yeah, yeah. Blueberry coffee. <laughs> so I understand that uh, the opportunity to hear Mandy Smith is open not just for students. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yes, if you are a, uh, if you are a student or will become a student, you can take a class with her. Okay. But uh, every June, we open up our Doctor of Ministry program to anybody from the community okay. who would like to come and learn one day with our Doctor of Ministry students. Wonderful. So when Mandy Smith will be here in June, there will be. A, conference on ministry we call oh, awesome. it where Wonderful. anybody who is a, a leader or interested person from the community can come and spend a da- day with us in the classroom and learn with us that is amazing mm-hmm. wow, it's a great it's, wonderful. it's a great thing wonderful and uh, any other thoughts on the doctor ministry program like you know, one of the things we didn't discuss was what who would be a good candidate for that mm-hmm. would be, yeah yeah that's a good that's a good question okay. i th- i think there are the Doctor of Ministry program is good for a number of people. Uh, we have uh, students who are who are really interested in certain question. Okay. So that's one kind of people. Those who have a question that they would like to explore, they have an issue or a problem in a ministry, and they would like to be paired with somebody who is an expert in that area, as an advisor. They would like to learn from others. They would like to research it more, so that the answer or whatever they do with that particular question or issue is thoughtful, okay. it is innovative, it is creative, uh, it is well-founded. So it's one one kind of people. Then I think it's good for people who need a refresher, okay. who are in, who've been in the ministry of various kind, not only pastoral ministry or chaplain's ministry, whatever they do, and they feel, I would like to move forward. Okay. I would like to... Uh, be exposed to new ideas. Okay. Uh, I would like to meet people who are asking deeper questions. So okay. that's another another group of people. Wonderful. Then I think it's also good for those who would like to be ready for a next step okay. in ministry or in their career that is in a Christian setting. And they would like to be well equipped for that. And they would like to have a degree that will move them forward. So Wonderful. I think that's another opportunity. In, su- in summary, maybe we can say that it is good for those who love learning and love people. That's wonderful. That it's not a solitary journey. It's not like PhD. It's really uh, well connected with the ministry and the practical setting in the church or in the society. But there is also a lot of learning. So for those who would like to learn and who, who love people, that's good. That's awesome. So it sounds like it would attract folks from various, mm-hmm. you know, different Yeah, and that's, that's also very nice that we have people who are uh, different ages. It's a good unity in diversity. It's wonderful. Thank you for joining us You're for welcome. this uh, cup of theology. Could you give us the title of the book one more time? Uh, my book? Yes. It's called The Unfavored. The Unfavored. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Sakura. Thank you, Kevin.